Okay, here we go. Uh, with this integral right, double integral right, I've broken the region R into, I decided to go dy dx. So that means we're going from zero to pi over four along the y region, which is right here. And then for dx, the limits of integration are from zero to pi over three right here. Uh, on Desmos, this is the calculation for that double integral. And here is a result based on manually solving that double integral and it appears to match. The question is, how did I do that? Well, first of all, I evaluate the inside uh, integral with respect to y. So remember, x is a constant in that case. So the antiderivative of the cosine of x plus y is the sine of x plus y. x is just a constant. And if I evaluate that from 0 to pi over 4, I'm putting pi over 4 in for this y right here. So, uh, And then I'm putting 0 in for the y. So this is what I get for the inside integral. And I picture putting it back in here. And then that results in having to evaluate this integral with respect to x. So notice that this matches this minus this part matches this right here. Now, how do you evaluate these two definite integrals? Well, you have to use integration by parts. So I just I'm going to get you started here. We'll do integration by parts over here also. So if we let u equal x and dv equal the sine of quantity x plus pi over 4 dx, then du equals dx, v equals the antiderivative of the sine of x plus pi over 4, which is the minus cosine. And then using the integration by port parts formula, u times v, <coughs> x times the negative cosine, minus the antiderivative of v du. Here's v, du is dx. I can move this minus out front and that'll become plus. And the antiderivative of the cosine of x plus pi over four is the sine of x plus pi over four. Now I have to take these limits of integration and substitute it in for x. So I get minus pi over three times the cosine of pi over three plus pi over four plus the sine of pi over three plus pi over four. And then I have to put zero in for x and do a subtraction. And of course this term will become zero, but if I put zero in here, I'll get minus sine of pi over four. Well, that's where all this stuff comes from. By the way, I have to do an integration by parts on this thing right here. And then remember to subtract whatever I get. I'll be evaluating from 0 to pi over 3, just like I did for this first definite integral. <clears throat> if you need an exact answer, heaven forbid, you'd have to use these trig identities for the sine of the sum of two angles. The sine of pi over 3 would be the sine of 60, radical 3 over 2, times the sine, cosine of... Uh, well, anyway, if you need an exact answer, you have to expand all these sum, for, sum formulas using these identities right here. Uh, but in the end, uh, if you evaluate it, you get something like 0.187 for that integral. So there you go. Hope that helped.